Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. So today's video is different than me pouring. I'm going to be talking about consistency of paints and getting your paints to the consistency you need for the pours that you want. So today's video is about the consistency of medium. Last video I did was just about thin paints and what pores you use for thin paints. And now this one is for medium. I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just doing a thin, medium, and thicker. And uh, I'll do the thicker one next. I'll make sure I link all of those down below too for you as well. So let me get you down and let me show you how I get my paint to a medium consistency. And then let's talk about the pores that you use for medium consistency. Okay, let me get you down there. Thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, let's get you down there. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. Bye. Hi everyone. Well, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about consistencies, just like I talked about in my intro. And I want to talk specifically about medium consistency. I'm trying to be very specific and very helpful when it comes to keeping it very simple. I'm going to talk about thin, which I've already talked about in my previous video, and my next video will be thicker uh, consistencies. So today is medium, and the different techniques you can use for the medium consistencies are swipe, uh, flip cup, dirty pour, or um, straight pour, an open cup pour, and then also trans posing or even a balloon smash transpose as well with a medium thickness. But I would do a flip cup with a thicker consistency, which you'll see in my next video. So let me get you started on the medium consistency for those pores. All right, so why I have all of this stuff here is I wanna talk about mediums, keeping it simple, paints, keeping it fairly simple. Um, and I do use a scale, as you can see, I use it quite a bit, but I use it as a guide, all right? So I'm gonna move the scale out of the way for just a minute, and I wanna talk about the different types of mediums that I use on a regular basis. So I'm in the United States, so if you don't get some of these products there. Um, there are other different products that you can utilize. So the first medium I utilize is I use filtered water and this just happens to be in a flow trawl container. But I cleaned it out and I use filtered water um, in here. So I fill this up and this is what I utilize. Every single pour I have water. The next medium I utilize on a regular basis is flow trawl. The thing with Floetrol that you have to be uh, careful about is making sure that you um, sift it or have it go through some type of a strainer because sometimes there's little um, gel-like stuff in it and you don't want that in your paint. Um, but Floetrol is what I typically use. And then I will add GAC, Golden GAC 800, to my pores specifically because I want to bind the paint together. And so sometimes, especially when I'm doing a pendulum, I really want to make sure I make it a fine line and it stays together and it doesn't separate. So I'll use GAC as well. Those are the three mediums I use, but I want to talk a little bit about why I use the scale as a guide and I, it can't be exact because the paints that are out there are different thicknesses. So I'm going to show you on this plate how it comes out of each one of these so that you can see that there is different thicknesses. So when a, a artist says, I'm going to use two parts water to three parts paint, uh, for them, it may be exact depending on ex on the paint, but sometimes I have to actually add more water or less water depending on the thickness of the paint. So let me show you, let me get these out of the way, and I'm gonna show you with my paper plate here. 
the consistencies of these, all these different products. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is Master's Touch. Uh, this just happens to be Payne's Gray. So when it comes out, it comes out in a nice little fluid motion. Um, it's thick, but it's not too thick, okay? So that's the Master's Touch. So I'll put that there. Then this one is Liquitex Basics, and it comes out just about the same, but a slightly thicker. Just slightly, but very similar to this Master's Touch here. This happens to be um, Creative Inspirations, and it comes out super thick. So let me show you. So see how thick that, oh, oh. <laughs> that'll go into the bloopers. All right, hold on. Let me get that cleaned up here. Okay, so I got my blob cleaned up. I accidentally blobbed it all over this guy right here. And see, it's right there. <laughs> Just hide it. All right, so this is this one right here, this creative. Okay, so the deco art is also a different consistency. So let me show you that. When it comes out, comes out a little bit thinner than that. And it, see how it spreads and these still stay in the globs? This is thinner than these guys, okay? And then the next one I wanted to show you is this uh, Artist Loft Flow acrylic. And it too is even thinner And it comes out thinner as well. See how it also separates? Okay. And then this is the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints, which has a really nice thick consistency. And you don't have to add any medium to this if you're utilizing it in your thicker pours. But if you're utilizing it in a thin one, you have to actually add stuff to it. But see how much thinner? So if I were to say the different thicknesses, the ready mix pouring paints is thinner because it's already ready at the thicker, consist medium to thicker consistency. The flow would be the next thickness. Then your uh, deco art, oops. Deco art metallics is the next thickness. So these two are almost identical. And then this is really thick. And then you've got these two, who, which are kind of medium. So if I am going to create a thin three to two ratio of water. So if I put three parts paint to two parts water of this, it's actually not gonna do well. It's gonna be too thin and the paint's gonna separate it. Same thing with this, same thing with this. But then if I add it here, three parts paint to two parts water, it might be too thick. And then these would be just about right. So the reason why I bring that up is because we use the scale as a guide. But then as I'm stirring it and mixing it, I want the consistency as it's running off my stick. I'm gonna demonstrate that on all three, thin, medium consistency, and thick consistency, so that you can see that although the ratios are nice to start with, but when you pull your stick up, it's gonna be a different consistency. So if you have any questions, please make sure you ask down below of what I mean by ratios are a guide, they're not exact. So when you talk, when you ask me what my ratio is for a Dutch pour, I'm gonna tell you three parts paint to two parts water. But if I'm using this kind of paint, it needs to be a different uh, ratio than this kind. So that's what I am talking about. But please ask your questions down below and I'll make sure I answer those for you. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna mix uh, my medium thickness and my medium thickness is actually taking my mix that I use and my mix is 
four parts Floetrol to one part GAC, and then I'll add water if I need to, uh, to thin it out. But that's how I start with. So this is my medium, and it is actually, uh, it leaves a mound on the top of the surface. So I know I can go thick or I can go medium. I got all kinds of paints gray all over me from the last video. So I'm going to start this one and get this all set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So this one, we're gonna do one to one ratio, one part paint to one part of my mix. And let's see what that does. Okay, so I've got 1.16. So I'm going to do 1.3 or 3, 2.3 and I got to 2.4. So now I'm going to stir that up. Okay, so that was a one-to-one -one ratio. So now I'm gonna take this up and do a one-to-two ratio because right now it's super thick, um, even thicker than what I would use in a thick um, consistency. So let's take my mix up now to 3.3. So this is a one to two ratio. So this right here would be a nice consistency for my thick. Let me show you that. It's really thick. It folds on top of itself when it goes down. It's almost like that candy. So you see it? That's thick. So a one to two ratio to my mix equals my thick. So if I want to uh, make this thinner, I need to have another, add some more of my um, mix or I can add some water. So now that I've got one part paint to two parts mix. Let me go ahead and add some water. So let's get this up to five. Or four, sorry. Six, okay. So for the medium consistency with this one, which is the Liquitex, I do a one part paint to two parts mix to one part water. And so as it comes off the stick, it's quite a bit thicker than the thin one was. And it leaves a mound on the surface. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that one is for medium. So one part paint to two part mix to one part water. So let me show you now that I've done this one, let me show you uh, utilizing the thinner flow in order to create the medium thickness. It's not gonna be much different than this. It's gonna be just slightly thinner than this one. So let me just show you that. Okay, so I'm going to now utilize this color and create the medium. 
Um, and so because it's a thinner consistency, I've got to be cautious on that because for my medium, I do a one part paint to two part mix to one part water. And my mix is four parts Floetrol, remember, to one part GAC. And so that consistency is already thin, but it leaves a mound on the top. So I've got to be careful. Um, I probably won't use as much water, right? Okay, so let's zero this out. Zero. And then let's just put one ounce of this gold. There we go, 1.2, okay? And then let's go ahead and do, let's just do one part to start with. So let's go to two. So there's two. Let's stir that up. And it it is a little thicker, so we're gonna need to add some water, but we will not need to add one part. So let me show you. See the thickness of it? It leaves a mound on a mound on a mound, which is classified as my thick, um, where this one le doesn't leave just a mound, it folds over top of itself. So it folds over top of itself like that. So we're gonna do just a little bit of water because it doesn't fold over top of itself a lot, just some. So, all right, so we did one part medium. We could try to go a little bit more on the medium but let's just go ahead and go with the water. So let's take this up right now, it's almost two, so we're gonna go almost three. Nope, we're gonna go 2.5. See where we're at with that. And now that's too thin. So let's take this up with two parts. So 2.5, we gotta take this up to 3.5. Okay, so now I have one part paint, two parts mix, and a half of a part, or 0.5 ounces of water. And this is good. It's actually on the medium, side almost too thin so probably yeah let me show you it's almost too thin for my medium so hopefully you can see that and if not it makes a little more than a V uh, not enough mound to be my medium consistency. So what that means is now that I have one part paint, two parts of my mix, and so one ounce of paint, two ounces of mix, and a half of an ounce of water, I need to add a little bit more paint. So we're just gonna go ahead and do another full ounce of paint. Nope, we're gonna do a half an ounce of paint. So it's at 3.5 right now, so let's take this up to four. There we go. It's better, but not great. Still too thin. Probably didn't need the water at all. All right, let's go ahead and take this up to half an ounce, 4.5. There we go. There, that's better. Okay. So this was a one part paint to, two, to one part mix and then just a splash of water. So two ounces of paint, two ounces of mix and 0.5 ounces of water. 
but here's the thickness. So you see the difference, how it's making an actual mound on the surface of the paint, but yet it's not folding over itself like it was at the very beginning. Okay, second one for medium. So see, that's the reason why you can't say ratios. Because although I start with a one to a two to one ratio for my medium, one part paint to two part mix to one part water, this one obviously couldn't do that. And this one could, right? So again, that's why you've gotta be so cautious when you're working with different kinds of paints. And it's okay to work with different kinds of paints, no problem, but the consistencies need to be the same. So if I'm using these two colors on the same painting, I need the consistency to be the same. So if I stir this, and this is making a bigger mound than this one, then I need to thin this out or I need to thick this one up. So again, that's why it's not exact science. There's science involved, there's a little math involved, but it's not exact science. Okay, so if you are wanting a, an easy solution to storing your paints, um, find some bottles around the house, uh, maybe water bottles. I just happen to use these tea bottles, they're nice and thick, and um, it's a great way to save my paint. I just did these paints for you, but I'm not gonna use them. So I marked them on here. I put what it is, Liquitex, and it's a copper. I did a one to two to one ratio of paint to mix to water, and so that's on there. So I don't forget. And if I if I used a cell activator or if I used um, a silicone in it, I would make sure I'd mark that too as well. So yeah, and so th these paints are now ready for me for the next time that I want to paint with these colors and also for the different paints that we utilize or the different pores that we utilize for the medium thickness of paint. So there's that one and then here's the gold and it's all ready to go. Now, if I was going to paint today, I would just put these off to the side and utilize it later, but I am not because I'm making this video for you today. And I'll probably paint with these tomorrow. So, one word of caution is sometimes once you have them in here and you have stored them for a while, uh, they may have thickened up. So even though you've got the ratio of one to one to uh, 0.5 water, or you have the one to two to one with uh, paint to mix to water, you may need to add just a little bit of water to it, depending on um, how much is possibly evaporated. All right, well, thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you want the thin paint, the, the uh, video before this one, I'll link that down below and I'll link it right here too as well. And then the thicker one, which is gonna be the next video, um, will be coming next week. All right, thanks for joining me, bye for now. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.